Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another video. I normally post on Monday, but I have a lot going on tomorrow so I won't be able to do a video so I'm going to go ahead and do it today. And I'm going to be making a mason jar dog. I posted this to my crafting group and um, everyone asked me to make it and even though this was not my ideal the woman that made it I found her well I didn't actually find her she was in my recommendations and she was under it came up under macing a jar dog or something like that I'm not real for sure how where and I don't really know how to link her cha her channel in my description box yet but I'll figure it out <clears throat> but basically I am going to be doing that dog but mine's is going to be done a tad bit different than what she did so basically what you're going to need is a mason jar this is a pint you're going to need three different size cardboards um this one is a 12 centimeters and you're going to need four and when i say four i don't need four pieces of cardboard you're going to need four of the yarns and i'll get to that in a minute and then you're going to need a three millimeter and then you're going to need a 18 millimeter you're going to need yarn of course any color that you prefer you're going to need felt scissors hot glue so what you're gonna do first um, and um, the only reason I'm not showing myself is because I do not feel all that great so I've been not feeling good for the last past few days but I'm getting better so what we're going to do is we're going to take our 12 centimeters and you're going to take your yarn and we're just going to pull some out. I've made a few of these dogs already and they literally take me three hours so I went ahead and put up some of the stuff. So you're going to take your yarn which is what I'm doing here and you're just gonna take it and you're just gonna wrap this yarn around here and I did this a total of 40 times so once you get it wrapped gonna take some more now the first time I made this these dogs I did not count how many times I was wrapping I was actually just going with what felt right so I'm just wrapping in and you're gonna do each one of these cardboards the same way so you're gonna just gonna keep wrapping and uh, if you it helps if you have cardboard that's sturdy or a book or something Mine's is not that sturdy because I've used this uh, a few times. So I'm wrapping. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut here. And I'm going to wrap this around one more time. And I'm going to peel this off. Just gonna actually you don't even have to take it off so we're just gonna leave that on there you're gonna take a piece of of the yarn you're gonna cut it you're gonna feed it through just like this you're gonna tie this in place tight you're going to roll it under and you're going to tie it at least three or four times. So this is my second tie. And then we're going to tie it one more time. So once you get it tied like this, you're going to go ahead then slide it off. You're going to hold it like this. You're going to take what did I do with my scissors? We're going to take our scissors and you're just going to cut. You're going to open it up. 
and I and once you get it open it's gonna look like this and I didn't get that centered but you, when you do it you want to get this a little more centered so you're gonna need four of these so I'm gonna set that to the side and I am going to bring these so this is what they're gonna look like you're gonna have four So you're going to have one, two, three, four. This is what we're going to have. You're going to set those to the side because you don't need those no more. I'm just getting everything set up. Now you're going to make, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your um this is for 18 centimeters you're gonna take that and you're gonna wrap that yarn around here you're gonna do this 40 times also you're just gonna wrap it just like we did the first one 40 times you're gonna cut and tie and this is what you're gonna end up with and you only need one of these so you just need to do that one time. So again, you need to take that 18 millimeter. You need to wrap the yarn 40 times. Then you tie it off just like you watched me do the first one. And then you only need one and you set that to the side because you're got not going to need no more. You're just going to need one of those. And then after you do that, and you're going to need one. Just remember one. You're going to need four of the 12 centimeters you're gonna need one of the 18 centimeters and then the next one is the three centimeters and this one is gonna be a little bit different it's three centimeters and you're going to wrap it this way so you're gonna wrap this way and you're going to do that 35 times and I am not counting as I'm wrapping but you're gonna do this 35 times I've already got mine cut out and ready to go so basically, you just wrap and I, I mentioned I did a couple of these and they were taking me three hours to do just a bit. It was taking me three hours to do one dog and um, that's because this part here is time consuming. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to cut a piece of yarn. You're going to go ahead and you're going to peel it off just like this. You're going to leave that just like this. You're going to take your yarn and you're going to set that right on top of there. And you're going to tie this three times tight. So pull tight like this. Flip it over tie one time, this more and more time, this will be the second tie. Flip again and tie one more time. Just like this. And now what you're going to do, if you ever made pom-poms out of yarn, then you know what's about to happen. So you're just going to cut these just like this. And we're gonna clean up the edges because this is gonna be the paw. You're gonna do you're gonna do this part three times because this is gonna be the tail in the uh, paws. And you're just gonna kind of go around it and clean up the edges a little bit. So we're just gonna cut here here and then we're just going to go ahead and you're just going to fluff that out and we're going to get this out of our way and you're going to do that three times and I have three right here like I mentioned the paws and the tail and uh, now what we're going to do is you're going to take your felt and you're going to Take your hot glue 
and you're going to put some hot glue on to your felt. And all you're going to do is you're going to hot glue this felt around all the way around this jar, making sure to cover the bottom. You're going to cut off any extra. And when you get it all wrapped, it's going to look like this. As you can see, I got it all wrapped in my felt. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to lay out all my pieces. So here are the um here are the pom-poms that we made which will be the paws and the tail and here are the four pieces that we cut and you're going to lay those to the side now you're going to take the one that was the 18 millimeter you're going to open it up make sure that everything is all straightened out and you're going to go ahead and you're going to take some hot glue and you're going to put that right smack in the middle of this jar so take your hot glue be very careful that you don't burn yourself you're going to open that up and you're going to stick that right in the middle hold it until it's dry I'm going to hold this up just like this because you need, now you're going to put uh, one of those ends on all four sides. So we're just going to take this and I am going to see if I can find, which I probably won't. All right. So I got a pencil here. I'm going to mark right here. I'm going to try to make sure I get everything centered so I'm marking. This helps me out a lot. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to pull this up. We are going to put one here. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put one right here. Now, we're going to pull this back down. Where we just marked that, you're going to take these four that you cut out. You're going to find the, you're going to separate them and find the opening. Just like this. You're going to take that and then you're going to stick that right here in the middle. Where you put where you marked it at, that's where you're going to be sticking. So we're going to put that here. You're going to put a dab of glue there. We're going to go ahead and stick that right down in place and hold it here. You got to put some force on it. It's hot glue, so it's not going to take long to um to make. I mean to dry. So we're just going to hold it. Now we're going to just go ahead, turn it over, and you're going to do that all the way around on those four sides that we marked. Stick it here. I'm going to stick that right there. There we go. My lighting wants to be off a little bit. Not sure why. Let me see if I do this. If y'all can see it a little better. All right. Maybe I need to keep that on. Uh, okay. So now we're going to turn it over. You're going to take your other one. And we're going to go ahead 
and we're going to stick that in place. Make sure that's upright. We're going to drop that right there. We're going to put some force on it. While that's drying, I'm going to grab my last one that I have here and we're going to stick that right in the middle. So just put a little bit of hot glue here. And I'm trying not to make this video where it's super long, but it may end up being a long video. I'm sorry about that. But um, I did, I was asked to make this, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold this here for a little bit. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. And I'm going to take my top ends and I'm going to pull it up so y'all can see what it should look like. So we have this here. And we have this here. And here's the four sides. I'm trying to fix my lighting. It always seems to not want to cooperate with me. But um, this is what we have. And this is what yours should look like. Okay. So this is what it should look like. Now you're just going to pull it down. Going to give it a little bit of shake. And we're going to go ahead and smooth all of this out. This part is where it's going to get complicated. All right, so basically what we're doing now is we're just going ahead now and we're just spreading out the hair or the yarn. I'm sorry, did not mean to say hair. And okay, so you're now what you're going to do is you're going to pick a side that you want to be, what side you want the face to be at. I'm going to have mine going this way. So I'm going to go ahead. So basically what I'm doing is I'm parting it in the middle just like this and I need to turn it facing me so I can see what I want to do next. So So once you get the get it um, the hair the yarn all on, on and into place, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pull up some of the hair, and we're gonna see about where we want her face to be, where we want to put her bow. So I am just gonna play around with this. So I am going to go ahead now and I, as you can see I got some of the hair and I'm just pushing it back just like this. And this is what you're going to get. And I'm just going to hold this just like this and I'm going to take a black rubber band and I am going to take that and I'm going to put that right here and it's not going to be seen so we're just going to put that there and we're making this is going to be where we secure the dog's bow so this is what we have and now I am going to take a little bit of hot glue 
and you're just going to stick a little in the back and you're just going to pin that hold that back there you're going to hold it down like this to give it time to dry and then you're going to go in with your scissors and we're just going to cut off some of the some of the hair so it's not so the yarn I'm sorry I don't know why I keep calling it hair and we're just going to cut a little cut that there pull that down push that out and this is what you end up with. So we're going to take our bow and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bow. And we're just going to go ahead and I'm, I need to turn this round so I can make sure that it is centered. But you're going to center your bow right in the middle. And this is what it should look like. Next, what we're going to do is, and I need to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to lay her down, and I am going to take some of the hot, some of the yarn, and we're just going to pull it over in the opening. So we're just going to stick that, a little bit of hot glue in there, and you're just going to go ahead and glue some, some of the hair, the yarn down in place, because this is where the eyes will go. I am just lightly pushing down and I am going to pull a little of this over and we're just going to so basically what I'm doing is there's a gap there and we're just filling it in I'm going to just use these little pieces that I have here. I'm just going to cut a little bit off. I'm, you're just going to stick a little bit of hot glue down in there. And we're just going to stick that right in the middle. And then you want to go ahead and you're going to close it out. <laughs> yeah, see, I just got burned. You're going to go ahead and you're going to close that that in. And this is what you're going to end up with. This is where we're going to put the eyes. So for that, and I am going to go ahead and... <laughs> For that, we're going to use some black felt. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it over. You know what? I'm just going to cut that off because I am getting... So we're going to go ahead and take that black felt and we're going to cut it, cold, ugh, fold it over that way we can get two eyes at the same time and we're just going to cut little circles this is going to be the eyes and then you're going to cut that in half and you should have two just like this next we're going to make the nose once again we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to cut out if you want to do a heart shaped nose just fold your felt over start at the corner and turn up as you cut it won't be a I can never do a perfectly perfect heart but it's close enough so we're gonna move this out the way and we're gonna bring this back and we're gonna go ahead and put the eyes in place so 
you're going to need some hot glue and you're going to stick the eyes down on here. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're just going to put some hot glue right on the back. And we're just going to stick that. Let me see here. I got this going this way. So we're going to stick this on here. Nope. Like this. Here are the eyes. Next, we're going to do her little nose. And I am just going to go ahead and we're going to put the little nose right in the middle. So we're going to take some hot glue and we're just going to stick that nose right there. This is what we have. Now, what we're going to do is I'm gonna turn my camera down a little more is we're going to go ahead and take those scissors and we're just going to trim up a little of the whiskers which is also the yarn okay so we're just going to grab some and we're just going to cut and this is what we end up with now what we're going to do is we're going to take some pink felt. What did I do with it? So we're going to take our pink felt and we're just going to cut out a corner piece and then we're going to make the tongue. And this tongue can be as big or as little as you want it to be. So we're going to slide that and we're just going to go ahead and you're just going to cut out a U shape for the tongue. Or a horseshoe shape. And this is what you're going to end up with. And so you're now you're going to spread that open a little bit. And you're going to put a little bit of hot glue on the tongue. And we're just going to stick that right in the middle. And you want to put a little bit of pressure on it. And this is what we have. So now. I need to okay I need to pull this nose off because since I had it pretty much turned away from me it wasn't the nose wasn't exactly centered to where I want it to be so I'm just cleaning up my fixing it up a little bit and pull that out of the way and I am going to go ahead and adjust this nose again okay so now I'm just taking a piece of another piece of uh, I'm just reattaching the nose and there we have it so now what we're gonna do is I am going to take my scissors and I am going to clean up give this doggy a trim you don't have you can leave this as long as you want or you can make it as short as you want but I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit because we still have to put the tails the tail in the paws on and after we do that we will be done and like I said before I am this video is gonna be kinda long and I am sorry about that but there was no shortcut in it to make it where it wasn't so long
and this is what we have. Now we're just going to move all that away and now we're going to take and put our paws and tails on. Well not tails but tail. So I'm just going to cut a little bit here because it's still some that's longer than the other. All right. So here are our pom-poms that we made. Two is for the paws and one is for the tail. So you're going to lay your dog down and you're going to find where you want to put them. And mines are going to go here. So I'm going to take my two biggest ones, which are these two, and we're just going to stick those on. So you're just going to put some glue on the back and you're just going to stick that down on there. Holding it for a little bit. And you're going to go over to the other side. And we're going to put the other one down on the other side. I have to get another glue stick. Stick that in there. And we're going to go ahead and stick that down right here. And here are the paws. And now we're going to go ahead and do the tail. So we're going to open it back here. I'm going to turn this over and we're going to put a little bit of hot glue right down on the back. And we're going to stick that right here, just like this. And you're going to put that down and cover it. And that is it. We are done, and this is what she looks like. If you want to trim yours up a little more, you can, but I think I'm going to leave her just like she is. And um, like I said, this is it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a like, a comment, and a uh, thumbs up. Please feel free to share this video. Turn on your notifications so you never miss a video when I post. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I'm going to be busy tomorrow, so I will not be able to upload a video, so that's why I did it today, and with that being said, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video, and I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.